The Native Instruments Complete Control S61 Mark II is a smart keyboard controller with a pro-grade 61-key semi-weighted FATAR keybed with aftertouch. Designed to provide an intuitive, hands-on music-making experience, the S61 Mark II has a host of features and capabilities that make it an ideal centerpiece for studio and stage use. The S61 Mark II offers pre-mapped control over complete instruments, as well as other NKS-compatible virtual instruments. Let's check this out now using a couple of the included instruments that you'll get when you register the S61 Mark II. The Complete Control plugin provides the software interface for the S61 Mark II, and it can be run inside of your door and standalone, as I'm doing right here. So from within the Complete Control plugin, you can browse instruments, and let's check that out using the hardware. We just press the Browser button, and then we can scroll through different categories. There's drums and percussion, sampled instruments, as well as synthesizers, and it'll show me the instruments on the screen on the S61 Mark II that I have installed. So let's go over and select Vintage Organs. Then on this side, we can scroll through and it will give us an audio preview of the patch. When I have one that I want to load, I can just push the four-way encoder here down and this patch is now loaded. So you'll see on the screen that I have um, I have information about the plugin, and there are actually, with this particular plugin, the Vintage Organs, there are seven pages that I can scroll through using the arrow buttons. And then I can use these various encoders here to edit the different parameters inside of the plugin. So let's set this up a little here, here now. So we're going to change the percussion up to normal, and that's going to be on the upper manual and we'll turn on the vibrato. And I also have an opportunity to edit the splits uh, for the keyboard, and we can do that over in the software. Under the Keys tab, I can adjust the split by dragging this to wherever I want the split point to be on the keyboard. Now I've also got control here over the presets. So right now you can see that it's on preset 12. I can go through and, and uh, scroll through each of these different presets. And you can see on the plugin that the drawbars are responding. So if I wanted a little Groove Homes sound. <laughs> Okay, that's preset 10. Uh, preset 11 is more of a Jimmy Smith kind of thing. And I've also got control over some of the other features inside of the Virtual Organs plugin. Here, I can use the touch strip on the keyboard to actually imitate the swell pedal. Or I could do that with an expression pedal, which I have connected here as well. And likewise, I can use the modulation wheel to, instant, uh, to change the Leslie state. And I can also do that with a sustain pedal. So there's a little bit of a sampling of what you can do with the uh, included Vintage Organs plugin with the S61 Mark II. Let's check out adding another plugin or changing the plugin. So I can go back to the browser here, and then I can just scroll through. Okay, I want to check out sampled instruments, go up to Vintage Keys, load that up. And then I can actually push this button right here and then take a listen or scroll through the list of the various vintage keys. Let's go down and find the, the uh, Mark I. Here's Scarby Mark I. All right. All 
right? Say I wanted to get my Donald Fagan on. I can scroll through. I can see that there are five pages here. I can scroll through and each one is going to take me through some of the different parameters and the effects. Let's go to the phaser and I'll turn the phaser on and let's see what we get. Okay, any of those parameters that are above the encoder, I can uh, adjust using the hardware. So it's very intuitive. It gives you a hands-on experience that uh, can save you a lot of time, um, both in the studio, and it also makes it suitable for using this live because you can set up all of your patches inside of complete control. You could recall them easily using the browser, and you can go through and uh, edit them on the fly. For use in the Project Studio, the S61 Mark II also features integration with various digital audio workstations such as Logic Pro, GarageBand, Ableton, Cubase, and Nuendo. And that integration comes in the form of transport controls as well as a mixer layer that allows you to use these encoders here to control the software mixer. On the back of the S61 Mark II, you're gonna find some ports. You'll see a MIDI in and a MIDI out port that you can use to connect with external MIDI compatible hardware using a five pin cable. And there are also two pedal connections on the back and you can configure those inside of the complete control software. Uh, so you could do like, like I had in this example, a sustain pedal connected as well as an expression pedal. Or if you want to use two expression pedals or two sustain pedals, you can do that as well. So uh, that's it pretty much for the S61 Mark II. It is also available in a 49 key and an 88 key version. And if you're interested in finding out more information about this keyboard or any other native instruments, products, or software, hardware or software, you can head on over to AmericanMusical.com. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. That will really help us out. And if you're interested in checking out any other videos, we've got them over here. Or if you're interested in checking out this product or any other product on AmericanMusical.com, you can just go ahead and click the link in the video or in the description box below.